Tectonic shift. Shaping the future with innovation. Hello viewers and welcome back. In this video, we will learn limitations of chat GPT. So without wasting time, let's start. As we know now, when working with chat GPT, certain kinds of inputs simply are not allowed. Because of this moderation program, which in the end scans all inputs and outputs before allowing them. But there also are some other limitations you should be aware of. For example, limited training data. As mentioned, a huge amount of data was used for training the model. But since training such a complex model does indeed take very long, it actually takes multiple months to train such a model. Training data has to be cut off at a certain point of time. For example, GPT 3.5 only has data until September 2021. So if you are asking questions that would require knowledge past September 21, chat GPT would not be able to help you. At least unless you have access to chat GPT plugins or chat GPT with web search, which at this point of time is only available to chat GPT plus users. So if you do have a chat GPT plus subscription and you are using chat GPT with web search capabilities, you can of course also ask questions or request responses that do need data past September 2021 because chat GPT should then be able to search the web. But without those capabilities, if you are, for example, only using the free version of chat GPT or a model that does not have web browsing enabled, this cutoff date is one limitation you should keep in mind. In addition, it's also really important to keep in mind that even though these responses which you can get from chat GPT seems very logical and magical, it's about patterns, not logic. As mentioned, chat GPT predicts words. It assigns probabilities and picks words based on probabilities. It doesn't really understand you, even though it often seems like it does. You can sometimes see this when asking chat GPT for the result of some mathematical calculation, especially when forcing it to give you just the result without any extra explanation. Since chat GPT is no calculator and can't do logical thinking, it's just trying to predict a word. In this case, a number based on some probabilities. And therefore here, for example, it predicted 104, which is definitely wrong. The answer, of course, would be 82. Now, by the way, chances are that if you are running this example, you get a different response, maybe even the right response, because ChatGPT, while using probabilities, also has a certain randomness factor built in so that it doesn't always generate exactly the same words. But either way, it can't think logically. It only predicts words based on probabilities combined with that slight randomness factor. Now, whatever a limitation you should be aware of is that ChatGPT in its raw form can only handle an output text. It can't search the internet and it can't execute code, for example. Now, I will say that this is not entirely true. If you are using ChatGPT plugins, if you have access to it, indeed you can enhance ChatGPT so that it, for example, could be able to actually perform web searches. But if it's just ChatGPT without those plugins, it's not able to do that. Later in the course though, I will actually show you how you could enhance ChatGPT these GPT models yourself with third party tools. But out of the box, if you have just ChatGPT without plugins, it can really just predict and generate text. There is no built-in calculator as you can see and also no built-in web browser or search engine or anything like that. Thank you for watching this video. Can't wait to see you soon in the next episode of this prompt engineering podcast. Please subscribe to stay tuned. Until then, bye-bye.